this video, we're going to look at how to find the length of the line segment or the distance between two coordinates. So we'd use the same technique. So if you've got a coordinate A, which is x1, y1, and a coordinate B, which is x2, y2, then the distance between A and B, or the length of A, the line AB, would be found by x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, and then you'd square root it. So that would tell you the distance between those two points of the line, the length of the line between those two points. Sometimes it's easier to consider it in terms of Pythagoras' theorem. So for instance, if you had so, uh, two coordinates, so this one, just say for instance, here and here, what you could do is just turn it into a little right angle triangle like so, and you could find out how much you go across and how much you go up. I suppose it's the run and the rise, similar to the gradient. So you'd find out how much you go up and how much you go across, and then you, you turn it into a right angle triangle, and you use Pythagoras' theorem. Now, how much you go across from here to here would be fine by doing x2 minus x1. For instance, if this was 1 and this was 4, if you take those away, you find that this length was 3 across. And for instance, if the height of this one was 2 and the height here was equal to 6, well, then the rise would then be 4. And then you'd use Pythagoras' theorem, so you'd square the 3, and you would get 9. You would square the 4, and you'd get 16. You'd add them together to get 25, and you'd square root it. So you'd find the length of the line equals 5. So you could either just plot them on a little diagram and use Pythagoras' theorem, or you could use this formula. To be honest, I probably use Pythagoras' theorem uh, a lot of the time, just quickly. Um, but so you can also use the formula as well. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. Okay, so it says the question says find the length of the line AB if A equals two five and B equals seven um, seventeen. I'm just going to quickly use uh, Pythagoras to work it out. Just uh, jot down my method here, and then I'll use the formula. So, draw a quick sketch. Okay, you would have A to be here, where it's two five two across and five up, and B to be over here somewhere, which is seven across and seventeen up, and that's B. Okay, you can draw your axes if you wish. Okay, so uh, if you want to join them up, that would be the line AB. So if you turn that into a little right angle triangle, like so, this was 2 along, and this is 7 along. So that means that the distance from here to here would be 5, but the length of this line is 5. This is 5 up, and this one is 17 up. So that means that the height of this triangle is then 12, if you take those away, you get 12. So to find this length here, let's call it AB, I suppose it is AB, uh, then you're going to use Pythagoras' theorem. So remember the short side, middle side, longer side, so it's going to be A, B, C. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A squared, so 5 squared plus 12 squared equals AB squared. When you square the 5 and the 12, you're going to get 25 plus 144 equals AB squared. So 169 equals AB squared whenever you add them together. And then square root it. So square root of 169 equals 13. Notice I haven't put 13 centimeters. I've just put 13 because it's just the length of the line and there's no units given in the question. It's on a coordinate grid. So the length of the line AB is 13. Alternatively, we could use the formula, okay, and I'm going to do it again now using the formula. Okay, so the formula for the length of a line or a segment is equal to uh, the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, okay? Um, I tend to call the first coordinate, as I would encounter it from left to right, to be x1, y1. So because this is 2 across and this is 7 across, I would encounter this one first if I was going uh, reading across the gra graph from left to right. So I'm going to call this one x1, y1. Remember the first number is the x coordinate, the second number is the y coordinate. This then would be x2, y2. So I'm going to substitute these values into the formula. So I get the square root of x2, well it's going to be 7, minus x1, 2, squared plus y2, 17, minus y1, which is 5, squared. So whenever you work that out, that's going to give you 7 take away 2 is 5 squared. Remember, that was how um, the base of our right angle triangle we had, plus uh, 12 squared. And then we square root that, so that's going to be 25 plus 144. So you get the square root of 169, which is equal to 13. 
So that's another way to find the length of a line segment or the distance between two points. So you just use Pythagoras' theorem or you can learn this formula if you wish.